Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are starting our upgrades on the Monoport K40. All right, so we've had a little issue, so this one's going to uh, take a few days, but uh, found uh, some 3D prints that we're gonna do for an air assist, a uh, nozzle as well as a drag chain, and we're gonna make some adjustments to the exhaust port so that we can increase our bedside a bit. All right, so the two things really that we're gonna focus on today is getting a little bit more cutting area. And as you can see up here, this exhaust uh, vent is actually in the way of our full cutting area. You can see where the laser actually can come clear up to here. So it's cut in there, it's cut a bit in there. So we're losing about a, I don't know, an inch, half inch, and it'll come clear down here. So the real cutting area is bigger than the eight by 10 that it says it can do, or eight by 12. Um, so we're gonna take that out. To take that out, we've gotta pull apart the exhaust vent and see what's holding it in. Some of them are welded, some of them are screwed. I do see two screws, but we'll see if there's any more. Second thing we're going to do is that we're going to add air assist to this so that it will cut a little bit better. Um, I don't know what laser head we're gonna end up using. Uh, we will upgrade it at some point. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to just add a 3D printed one. It slides on the bottom, uh, air hose goes there. Uh, so it, it should be perfect for now. Eventually I'd like to get maybe an adjustable laser head. So we're not gonna put a bunch into it right now uh, until I finish doing that research. But I do want air assist now. Um, so 3D printing was the perfect way to go. And we're gonna do a drag chain and everything with that. So we'll get into the back real quick and see what we find there. All right, so first we're gonna take off the smoke outlet, removing our four inch hose and then it's got uh, it's just Phillips head screws, so we're going to take all that off first. Okay, quite a mess uh, in here all of the blue paint and this is hooked in doesn't look like an easy way to get to this to undo it there's uh, four screws we could remove it pulled out just enough of the wire to get it to sit up on top and I'm gonna grab a paper towel and clean out the inside here before we get in, but I do see the four screws that are holding in that vent. All right, let me show you what this looks like. So in here, we've got the four screws that are holding in that vent. So let's pull those out and then see if they, uh, if we can remove that without having to take out the whole bed. All right, those out now to see if we can get that out. Went ahead and took the top off completely. Now let's see. Boom, she is out. I'm gonna leave this out for now uh, and see how the air pulls uh, just with our big exhaust fan. All right, I'm gonna get that fan back in and then we will come around back to the front and start checking out the chain. All right, so here's one of the end pieces that the links go on. And the links, I've got a few, are super tight. You could probably force them in, but I've broken at least one already and don't want to break any more. So what I've done, so I used a heat gun and just a little bit of heat. both sides and then I was able to get them to snap in I've got a little screwdriver here 
I'm just going to make sure and push it back down and then boom, on perfect. So just a little bit of heat makes it snap in great. It doesn't want to pop out at all and we'll get the rest of them together. All right, so the air assist is together. Well, the drag chain's together. This piece is gonna go over here, and then this piece goes here and it connects to it. Not loving this piece, um, but we'll see how it does and then maybe change that in the future. We'll do these first. I'll try to do one at a time so that I can put it back in. Just a single screw on the side. All right, we have swapped that out with an M3 bolt. Uh, it's actually the same one we're going to use to connect um, <coughs> the drag chain to the two ends, and this fits the uh, thread pattern. All right, snapped like crazy. It's just perfect, so I didn't like this piece anyway, so we'll get a new one. All right, guys, next day, uh, found this. So it's gonna have two screws. It should be much sturdier. It's the remix that I found of the other one, so it should fit as well, and uh, we're gonna put it in. Sweet. That feels way better than the other one did, and I'm not going to tighten it down too much. It's solid. Uh, just a little. Enough to where nothing's going to move. All right, now, two of these connect here to here. We're going to use the same M3 metrics, uh, which is not on the back side of both of these and uh, we'll get that up. All right, I'm just hand tightening these right now because I want to make sure that they're not going to be in the way of the laser. But right now, it looks very good and out of the way. I'm not going to put this on yet because I want to be able to hold it in hand to put the tube on. So we're going to run the tube through first. Right, we are coming through the big hole. Let me just feed it through. That's a bit of a pain to get it around the turn. Uh, put it on first. I'm going to use the heat gun. I'm going to heat this end up to try to make it a little more pliable to get it over the nozzle. All right, so the last little bit, 
I put this on and I'm going to cheat it this way to spin it this way. If I get it too far the other way and I try to spin it straight, it's going to undo the screw, the threads. So cheating it just a little this way. And now we can just cheat it around where we want it and we are good. Now you can see we've got full movement every way. All right, we are ready to put it all back together and get the air assist running and see how it cuts now. All right, got everything together, exhaust hooked back up, and we are going to do the same test cut uh, that we did before on making a box. So exact same parameters, just with uh, air assist. All right, so that cut great. Here we are. This is the first one that it did. Seems like it took maybe a little bit to get it going at first. Not really sure why that's the very first of the cutting. Other than that, awesome the rest of the time. And here's the main part that I really wanna take a look at. So comparing these together, you can see where it was scorching it before. Barely any not not even close to what it was doing and that was on all of them and now we've got really really clean cuts all the way around all right it almost feels like the kerf's actually just the tiniest bit um smaller with the air assist because this was just a little snug uh but it fits great super clean i mean the sap on the bottom's still really bad so swapping out the bed is a must this is gross uh, to get better airflow underneath it, which will help it out even more. So, difference in them is huge just between how clean the cuts are now. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.